unbelievable my lovely wonderful people see what is happening right about now oh no our lovely wonderful brother the governor of Ondo State wrote to me Akiri Dulu, the guy they critically sick or oh, unable to walk. Now be saying nothing. Waka the dog carry and go Germany as we speak. So I beg which reason I may you pray for Ramo sickness. Not which would they pray for make anybody get to I beg may you pray for Ram. Okay, may you pray for Ram. I beg pray for Ram. The guy no way and he's serious. He's serious. Not be small thing. He's serious. Where where. Please pray for our brother, Rotimi, uh, you know, Amechi, and uh, Akere Dolo, I beg your pardon. The two of them are Rotimi, Rotimi. But this time, I wrote to I carry the loan I will talk about. I beg they pray, oh, they pray, make it they all right, make it they fine. I beg you, yeah, pray, pray, you know, pray, pray. Now, pray, I reach you at this point in time. I beg, pray, okay. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Exclusive Ondo State Governor critically sick, unable to walk, flown to Germany. The governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Amechi, has been flown to Germany for immediate medical attention. A correspondent gathered that the sickness was so bad that the governor was unable to walk. He was burned, bundled into an aircraft and flown to Germany. The incident happened last week, according to our sources. Recall that the governor, being an ally of President Bola Metinubu, was conspicuously missing in the build-up to the inauguration of the new president. Meanwhile, Point Blank gathered that the absence of the governor has been creating this enfranch enfranchisement and the state over inability of the governor to hand over to his deputy, which sources his wife has vehemently resisted, saying the governor is only away on his sick leave and will be back soonest. Handing over to the deputy governor in case anything goes on will mean he's in total control and everybody will have to wait on him. This the family has refused to accept. As source says, the governor's son, G.D. Akiri Dolo, has been allegedly running the affairs of the state in the absence of the governor, his father, a development that stakeholders in the state have kicked against, that this is a, this is a political matter and his deputy needs to fill in if his absence, not his son. This is misplacement of the right thing, which ought not to be so. It is important that everyone understands that the governor is not around and that this cannot be this can it cannot transfer whatever it is to his son as this is not the right way or the right how in which things should and must go. It is wrong and does not make any meaningful sense on how things are being now. Things have to be corrected to ensure that Nigerians enjoy the truth of being a democratic nation. It is not a family affair where the father hands over to the son why the people are in need of true leadership. This is not right at all. So my people, now waiting they happen be this. The governor now, the son, now they take charge now they do the now they run the affairs of the of the state which is wrong which is wrong i know that maybe the family is scared and worried and don't want to you know do what is right because of their personal whatever they think it is however it is wrong for the governor's son to take over it is very wrong it is very wrong you know the, you know uh it's, it you can't you can't do that you know you can't wake up one morning okay and just say uh you know and just say uh you you are now the this or that is wrong the son yes is a special assistant to his father however you know uh you can't wake up one morning and hand over the, the affairs of a state to your son the wife has fought with the deputy governor at some point. I mean, when I mean fought with him, 
you know, they've had exchange of words in terms of saying that, yes, we know that uh, he's ill and um, if he dies, the deputy governor will take over. But still, he's still the governor until anything happens. You know, so those things are still there. And everybody needs to understand that, you know, in our society, in our government today, some people find it very hard, okay, to, to adhere to what is, you know, what is needed and what is right. Some people find it very hard to adhere to, okay? They do whatever they want to do in ensuring that their, their own will stands, okay? They do whatever they want to do. They don't care the consequences. They don't care what follows. And there's what we call decorum. You know, rules and laws are there for a purpose, because by the time everybody begins to break the law, it, it becomes a banana republic. We are it is the survivor of the fittest. You know, in a society, is not like that. There are ways that things there is there is there are ways that things should go. There are hierarchy. There are leaders, and these all are put in place for orderliness. You know, you can't hand over to your son. Or your son cannot just assume office, undermining the position of the deputy. It's not done. It's in Nigeria that some of these things are done, and people do not really arise to it and say no. You know, stakeholders in the state are saying no, it is wrong, but who will question the, the governor's son? The governor is supposed to, you're going away. Yes, there's supposed to be a system in place by which you hand over to your deputy while you are away. Your son will not take over should anything happen. It will be your deputy. And then you would have created a lot of an enmity, you know, between your family and that because the person would have felt, you know, uh, uh, cheated and not accorded his position and rightful place. And when he comes in, there is not somebody who has a heart, you know, to forgive and to let, you know, the wrong be gone. He will want to, he will want to take a pan of, a span of flesh, which will lead to anarchy and will lead to bad blood between people he ought not to be so he ought not to be so these things can be you know can be quickly corrected and looked at rather than allowing some persons some people to come in and you know to take over what does not for now your son has not i don't know if he belongs to a political party how much more contested an election you picked your deputy both of you contested the election you won and uh, there is a law in place that says if you're not around your deputy come on board Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.